Hello everyone, uh, Brad Allen back um, with this leather Laplander project and this video is going to be a couple different things. Um, I'm going to be showing you know the progress so far on Nick's Laplander sheath and I also wanted to kind of ask some people's opinions you know Nick especially you if you're looking at this video. Um, this is your sheath so far man I'm getting ready to put the welt in and all that stuff and start to get everything stitched up but um, what I was talking about before with this being one continuous stitch run wound up being kind of a rough idea for me um, after I got all this glued on here but I've come up with an idea what I'm going to do is once I get this sanded up and all the edges trued up on it and everything and I get my stitch runs marked and everything it's going to have one continuous seam all the way around it then at the bottom obviously it's going to have the little squared in patch for it to, fit, to secure itself to the main body of the sheath. So what I'm going to have to do is once all this is cleaned up and stained and everything and ready to go, I'm going to start my stitch run back here on this side. But what I'm going to do is instead of just pulling the thread through and putting one loop through and going on out, I'm going to like blockade something down here to where the string goes all the way around it to give myself a good distance of thread and then I'm going to start to stitch that way everything stays nice and tight because this part will be taut and I can get all them stitches in going and get everything secure all the way around down to about the same even side on the other side and then I'm going to mark the sheath and punch the two little corner holes and pull half the thread through the sheath that way it starts the security run to the sheath itself and then once that's in there and I finish punching my holes I can mark everything out and bring my stitches around the bottom on this side and on this side I'll go straight across and bring my locking stitches down and then on this side my stitch run to come up and then lock stitch back down that way both the um, locking stitches will be on the side and then to stay even and it'll bring all that down plus there'll be a little gorilla glue under there so that would be his belt loop but for the um, parts that I have available Nick I have solid brass and I have the chrome um, I have the antique brass um, snaps for the um, belt loop attachment um, I kinda want your insight do you want it to be chrome or do you want it to be brass um, and as well with the majority of all the projects that I do you guys always see me just use the red um, stitching that's just kind of something that I've done ever since I started making these projects I like it but um, Nick you know there's payment involved in this so I want you to have some kind of decisions in this man I mean you hooked me up really nicely and I appreciate you a lot but I have the red stitching like what I always use for my product and I have um, a, a tan one as well but Maybe you can give me a little bit of insight on that and, you know, that would be part of it because some of the stuff that I'm doing today as far as getting everything um, lined up is going to have to dry for a while anyway. So we'll be able to have a little bit of time before we stitch it up. And as well, another question I wanted for you, Nick, now that you see the start of this, um, a lot of this is going to be trued up here so some of the distance that you see here won't be so thick. It's going to be a little more rounded up. but. Um, do you do you want me to put a strap on it? A lot of people that my friends here around that have been um, seeing this project in person said that they think that if I put a strap in and lock a strap in that it just kind of takes some of the artwork away, you know, because this part's already going to be covering in the back and that's going to be there, you know. I can tool something small through there, but it won't it won't be t too thick, so. What do you think about that? Do you want me to put the strap for an extra security spot? Or would you rather just the nice sleek design and then maybe spend a little more time with a nice tooled belt loop or something? Um, give me a little bit of insight in that. But I hope you're liking this so far, bud. It ain't polished up or nothing. This is just everything so far. Um, I haven't treated the inside yet. Uh, I still gotta burnish some things up and get a coating on this. Um, skin side uh the leather but i hope you're liking everything so far this one was a really fun project to work on there's a lot of detail in that i really think that when i polish this thing up and put the finish on it's going to look really nice 
but there's you know a little bit of stuff that you can send me some insight on um, another thing <clears throat> that I wanted to talk about in this video is I don't know if you guys have seen some of the pictures that I posted on Google Plus recently but when Nick sent me this <laughs> more a carving knife over and I seen how sharp this thing was it reminded me of you know when I used to carve and a lot of people you know carve wood and all that you know but I, I don't carve wood I carve like little odd stuff I do um, peat seeds or cherry seeds being cherry seeds in particular but um, that's what I wanted to show you guys I don't I hope this camera is picking all this up but I've got three little things here that I've made out of being cherry seeds and I carved them with my trusty old-timer um, pocket knife you guys see this in my fire kit but this is actually my precision carving knife is what I use it as well but um, here's a little teddy bear that I'm working on I've, I've pre I've stained these after I got so far in the carvings but I'm still going to go back and carve more it's just the stain um, helps me see some of the shadows and helps me line my knife up a little better but there's a little teddy bear face that I've been working on and obviously just the rough side of the cherry seed but um, I'll try to post some pictures along with this video or you can go to my Google Plus page and see the little photos but there was a little teddy bear um, the next one is a monkey um, chilling on his thumb and you can see his little tail there and his little face A little monkey this one I've carved for Angie I'm turning this into a charm um, and then the last one is just um, Bigfoot or the bearded man or whatever you would have call this little bearded man but these are these are some of the things that I enjoy working on I, li I like to work on small tiny tedious precision stuff and not none of these are finished yet I still got more time but like these things I get involved in hours and hours of work doing these and like I said I don't use any moto tool I don't use any high speed um, Dremel bits or anything like that I just use a trusty pocket knife but that's some other little craft things that I do I enjoy art a lot you guys but I was just using this as a little show and tell time you know for a couple of the projects that I'm working on it but really needing to get this finished up that will definitely be sent out to you Nick here by just probably mid this week I should be finished with it. Angie and I are getting ready for our vacation to Tennessee so um, I'm definitely gonna have that sent out to you that way there's no more delay and as well a couple other packages that I've promised people that I was gonna be sending out I'm gonna um, send out but I just wanted to show what's going on here it's usually just a babble <laughs> I know I talk a lot but we're just catching up but show and tell on some of the projects that I got going on here um, there's that one and for those of you that might not have seen um, Nick's carving knife sheath oh, like I said I already had it half packaged up I still gotta put the final shine to this but there's Nick's other sheath that I've made for him. It's kind of hard to see, but if you look in here and you guide your eyes to this, this is kind of cursive in, made out of vine work, and it's got some like little berries or little flowers on it, and then the bottom is an H. It's that way, and then the center line runs across, and you got the other part of the H. But you'll be able to see that real good when you get this, Nick, but there's that. And then the other one, so they look different. They're both the same color. This one just hasn't been finished and brought to a luster and sheen as this one has. And uh, Let me know, do you want them to match? Do you want the normal red stitching that I use? Or do you want me to kind of jump outside the box and use the tan? And do you want chrome or brass? Let me know, Nick. I hope you see this pretty soon, but I'll probably send you a message that way you get 
forwarded this video quicker. That way I can get this thing wrapped up. But as always, guys, love y'all. Do something fun today.